top eight qualifier. Winners quarters got Armada Serp versus Riley. Riley looking really, really good with Eevee these days. Has a lot of really good wins with this character. The character definitely has a lot of good wins. Uh, we've been seeing a lot like Adamisk, Riley, just the two name to name two characters off the bat. This character that we've actually been seeing in top eight a lot too as well. Yeah, mainly Riley. <laughs> yeah, ma mainly Riley. Riley and Adamus, but Riley, yeah, he got top eight last week. No, Wanda Chazo, we've seen tournament. We've seen Chazo two. get pretty far as well with this character. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything like you know to sound offensive, but DB definitely gets a bit of a boost online for sure. Like more likely to run into his Gordo traps with uh, the delay, but that's just not to take away from Riley's skill because it only can carry you so far. He has some really good reads with this character, really good ledge trapping. He's very solid. Yeah, the way that we've seen Riley play using Gordo as a mix-up or as an opportunity to cover a jump or Ooh. a landing like so, uh, that's pretty good. But that wasn't no Gordo, that was actually a really good up smash, but also understanding the common things that Ness will go for, specifically being, you know, size stalls for the landing or size stalls for an aerial. Those are really good other things that Riley took away from Syrup. So he's letting Syrup know, if you are going to go for size stalls, I will call you up, especially with this Gordo and with this inhale, right before you can even get the back air. Nice. Yeah, I, I got to say, Riley's spacing right now, very, very good. The hits he is getting, like, the hits he is taking from Ness, they're not super detrimental for him, like, potentially losing the stock. If anything, he's trading in some really good spots as well. All right, before the startup right. animation of the Gordo. Good for Syrup, though. Yep. He's trying to get Riley right before he's on the ledge. Nice. He actually got, like, a good 15% just from poking him with the up air from the ledge. But there's the up air from Ness, finally taking that stock. 162% with DD and dealing 86. Riley's not too mad about that. Definitely not, but if I were a Syrup man, I'd start using that PK Thunder the minute you see DDD off the stage. A really good opportunity to use it for pressure. Ooh, yeah. Syrup definitely wants to use his amazing hitboxes to just even things up. DDD's a huge body, so he's going to take massive amounts of punishment if Ness gets the right hit. As you can see, already lapped him in percent off of this solid ledge pressure and some pretty good combos. Oh, nice. Went Go for on. the force match. I don't that know if good. that was intentional, but no hard punish until he landed to the stage with that up B. Yeah, and the reason it was so nice from Syrup is because he went for that cross up back air because he had understood how Riley had gotten so comfortable with shield. So it was good enough for him to get him. Riley lets another up smash swing. It's really good because it has such a good um, aerial arc that like it really kind of somewhat of an anti air, especially if you're going to see where Ness is coming from. Covers both behind and in front of King DDD, so it's a really good opportunity to definitely hit Ness. But man, Syrup is on the combo here. Uh, they're definitely in a scary position right now. Riley's trying to uh, leave some of this pressure that Ness is putting on him. Oh, okay, that inhale has just been proving very effective for Riley. Oh, off stage now, though. You looking for the reaction? No, none. It was good too. Syrup had a lot of. Uh, he oh. gets the back air finally. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That was good on Syrup. He finally gets the back air, but he gave up so much stage control that it could have gone south either way, you know? It is Riley after all. And if you're meaning King DDD at a pretty high level Wi Fi tournament, I would say, it, you can't let your opponent have too much. Yeah. Riley definitely lost that game, but I, something I thought was really good was his uh, anti air up smashes. Yeah. Just because that move is like the size of Ness's entire body, pretty much. And it, the, the way that Ness likes to approach, he's like, most of the time, he's like floating in that like area right above DDD, and like most characters. So if yeah. Riley calls that out, you can get some really good stocks that you guys saw. It's a good check mark. He, he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't able to get momentum back, though. Yeah. And uh, gonna fall victim there, but. Let's see what Riley's counter pick is here. I definitely think he has the potential to bring this to a uh, game three. Both these players are playing the matchup pretty well, I'll say. He, his odds of winning this definitely go up if he can keep Syrup at the ledge with the Gordo, though. That was going to say. Him use it that much he has a good check mark on Syrup in that regard. Like, he has him with the end here because he knows how Slice is going. He knows what Ness's usual options are at the ledge. 
knowing that a fat is half the battle, and then the other half of the battle, just understanding how your opponent will play to it and react. And so far, Ooh. Syrup with a great reaction with a down air. Not going to be the full stock, though, but that was good enough to put in pressure against Riley. Just understand, okay, hold on. If you're going to be off the stage like that, I'm going to make sure I take the time to go for this combo. I'm just going to let you know, that only, that only didn't kill him because he's DED. Like, yeah. if he, it was a normal character that didn't have multiple jumps, he would have died for air dodging there. Oh, <laughs> definitely. Spiked. If it were Falcon, if it were Ganondorf, any of those characters, yeah, there would have been, been curtains. Yeah, sir, very, very good play right now. That's a back throw. Good. Stage control here. Rydal looking for a back air syrup. Definitely going for the high recovery there. Doesn't want to go for a low one. Seeing as what King Diddy can do with a lot of Gordos at the ledge. Who's in caught in the PK fire too. Okay. Luckily for Riley, he's not going to uh, get destroyed by that yo-yo, but doesn't matter, man. Syrup. Syrup just spacing the back air so well, covering Riley's poor recovery. And now the percent is just climbing. These nest combos are brutal on DV. Okay. <laughs> Good. The up smash not enough to kill this time though. Yeah. Good on Syrup though. Definitely having a higher ceiling on Town and City is good for him. Down throw, upper, that's gonna be pretty much a stock. Yeah, that high percent and that high in the air. I've never seen King VD go for down throw upper, but man, I thought it was Smash 4 for a second. Yeah, it's, a, it's a pretty common DD setup, especially if they DI in. Which uh, Syrup did, definitely did. Yeah, and I, th I think it's good because Syrup definitely wants to DI in. Probably thinking he was going to go for forward throw for stage control. Hey, Riley. He's really missing a lot of these uh, inhale command grabs. He's not getting hard punished for it, but it's definitely throwing him off. Oh, okay, nice. Up air through the ledge. Get yeah, some space back on the stage. It's it's definitely like you said. It's not punishing here, but it is giving Syrup the opportunity to just get King DDD off of it too as well. What a good opportunity to go for Yo-Yo yet again to catch the landing there on against Rally. I think that's definitely something Syrup understood in this matchup. Let's catch King DDD on the landings there because there was a lot of opportunities where he would go for Yo-Yo, see the up special from Riley, and then punish it with a back air. This is a really excellent combo here. It gets enough damage, twenty six percent, a full stock indeed. Oh, what a way right. too! He goes for double forward there, waits for the landing and the reaction from Riley, and then sneaks in an extra hit. Finally, the command grab inhale here, but as Riley does have barely any chance. I was gonna say he might have been trying to go for a Gordo in the air, and that gave Sarah some time. But yet again, the anti-air up smash sees the fact that the one thing that Ness will always do is jump out of shield with some kind of option there, and he's not afraid to call it out. Oh, oh, so so close to dying. Okay, Riley though, double nair into the up tilt. Keeping himself alive just a little bit longer. But he, he's gonna need a lot more if he wants to bring this one back. Oh, definitely. 139 to 33. It's not impossible, man. Okay. Starts oh. off with a down throw. No forward air, but oh. because of the fact that he went down throw with no forward air there confirmed, that was enough for Serb to sneak in that up around the landing. Okay. okay, opportunity though. Nope, too early on the dash attack. Oh, that was so Ah, uh, yeah, so too early again. Like you said, a little bit too much greed, and you'll pay the ultimate price of losing the game. Yeah, I mean, man, I, I want to...